Welcome back, folks. See, this is how I can tell I'm playing a game I love to hate, because I really need to be going to bed for work right now, and I just... One more video. Uh, Cutter, you might think. Yeah, he studies you for a moment. You could spare a few coppers for a blood who helped on you on your way. Not many around here do that for a felon, not for a man to wet a tongue after all that talking. Get five coppers. Let's around to see if anyone saw the exchange, then tucks a jinx in the folds of his room. Thank you kindly, Cutter. May the Lady Shadow pass you by. Done. Farewell. Harlow. Five bucks. You see a tired looking woman dressed in tight leather bodas and leggings. The odor of cheap perfume surrounds her like a cloud, and her face is covered with a mask of crude makeup. She smiles as she sees you. Why don't you stay and chat with me for a bit, love? Greetings. Woman looks coolly at you. Now you look to be blood who's lost something. Mayhaps I can help you find it, Cutter? She smiles slightly. Uh oh. What good fortune. We probably lost what we're looking for back at your kit, miss. Actually, I'm missing a journal. Eh? What are you about? Not missing anything, but I did have some questions. I'm not a tout. Unless you've got some jink to pay. Never mind. I'll keep that in mind. Chief, can you spot me some jink? It's, uh, it's been a long time, it has. I'm not even going to ask how you intend to accomplish this. It's twice the cost for the Mimmer. Or any other degenerate. Mimmer? Mimmer's a talking encyclopedia. That's me, Chief. I see. Well, don't sweat it, Mort. From looks where I'm probably saving you from dying twice. May a pot shrivel your innards. You have the stinking fashion sense of a goat herd, and you're twice as ugly. Taunts, all right. <laughs> wow, Chief. Got a few more taunts for the old arsenal. I'm also in love. All right. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. All right. Done. See, I hate this. I need to go to bed so badly right now. I'm gone. I was gonna do. I I really was gonna do like one Done. video. And uh, the way I generally play is I'll end up doing like, you know, two Done. or three videos at a time, or I'll I'll do a bunch of videos. What do we got here? What is this? The Gathering dust bar is actually where I want to go. I'm gone. Let's check out. I'm blaming it on that the Tylenol PM just hasn't kicked in yet, but... Sloppy workers. Sarah the skip Duke. Zombie bodyguard, Emma Rock. Just trying to get an idea of what's, uh, what's around in here. Never you mind, folks. Never you mind. Done. God, this might be better. All I right, done. Really want to play D and D again with uh, a bunch of my friends. We just, unfortunately, we've uh, we've been so busy done. lately, we haven't been able to. Done. Finished up an awesome campaign in Ravenloft. A lot of fun. Done. Old All right. Copper eyes. I'm gone. Awaiting I'm death. Gone. Well, there's a thing for you. All right. Well, let's start talking to some of our named. Sad skeptic. As you approach, the other little woman turns and stares at you. Ah, look who's come a calling on Sayer today. Death's dearest son. She looks you up and down and shakes her head in disbelief. By every power in its mother, boy, what crypt did you crawl out of? Crawl out of any crypt. She frowns, her face wrinkling like crumpled parchment. Right then, what coffin did you crawl out of? She mumbles. One of those shoddy splint coffins of hammeries, most like. Gives corpses splinters, I hear. She sniffs. That boy's not been worth a clipped copper since his father died. I don't want to let them know I'm from the mortuary. Who is that? 
was a coffin breaker, pardon, coffin maker in the lower ward, and inherited the shop when his father died. Much to the shame of every corpse needing a coffin, crypt, or tombstone in sigil. Tell him to his father. Those years just for show, boy? He died, she mumbles. His son talked him to death, most likely. That boy's tongue doesn't stop rattling. I'm surprised he doesn't shake his head loose from his shoulders. Can you recommend anywhere else I could lie down and die? She barks a laugh that rattles your ears. Ha <laughs> ha! Not here, unless you want to die of boredom. What's wrong with here? <sighs> Someone pinch your sense and your sight, boy. She waves her hand around the bar. Look around, what do your eyes tell you? Bunch of fun-loving dustmen drinking happily and conversing merrily. <laughs> the dustman bar. Very good. Sarah chuckles dryly, though she doesn't seem to be laughing at you. The rest of explaining myself, dustmen are the dullest breed of dullards ever to meet in Sigil. Always speaking of death reverently, like it's some holy union that every creature in the multiverse should strive for. Tch! <laughs> You're a dustman. A dustman? Well, I suppose. Sarah sniffs. Tch! <laughs> I've seen enough sand pass through the hourglass while wearing these robes. This body's almost ready to pay the ferryman. But there's not much more than that. You afraid of dying? Of course I am, boy. Who isn't? She frowns and glances around. Well, except Dustman. They're not afraid because they've been swallowing so much of their own bat droppings over the decades they've blinded themselves into thinking that death is some kind of release. It'll sound much like a Dustman. I guess the Dustman robes don't fit me as well as they used to. Life, I suppose. It, uh, she, ha! Never you mind. I won't bore you with niggling details. Let's know. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? How old do you take me for, boy? Old. Well, you're wrong. I'm really old. Now, I've spent most of my long years teaching dustmen. I've seen many dustmen whelps grow within our order. Right. And so on, so on. Another question. Uh, what happened? Well, I haven't looked back. I went sick with a fever. I thought it was the end. It, uh, it rattled my cage. There's something about having your faction members circle around your deathbed like a pack of pale-faced ghouls, nodding and agreeing that you are suffering and dying is all for the best. Oh, Sarah is so fortunate she shall soon be relieved of the burden of life. Burden of life. That's when it struck me. That there's something addled about not appreciating your life. The dustman keeps saying that life is misery and suffering. Is it? That we should be happy to pass on to him to oblivion? Should we? Questions, questions, and precious few answers. I suppose I've got a swarm of doubts. I swear I don't know. It's the problem with doubt. Can't even trust what I'm feeling. Is it true? Tree, this is a test of your belief. The core of the Dustman philosophy is that this life's one. So, maybe so. I'll have to chew on it some more. You should, it's no small matter. Ha! <laughs> now enough of me rattling about my woes. You look like you've changed a f shared a few handshakes with death yourself. Uh, does it make you... Yes. You're rattling my coffin. It's true. Strange are the ways of the plains, and I've seen too much to throw any tail in the wash. Now don't be saying that too loud. Most peculiar. Never heard of anything like that. Shame about the memories. Nay, hey, not one. Never knew anyone who death wouldn't take. This tiny wizened man is dwarfed by his huge dustman robes. Greetings! His eyes gleam as he takes your measure and gives a slight nod and Hail and well met, traveler. You look like one who is just getting their sigil legs about them. Pardon me, uh, have we met before? Your face seems familiar somehow. Possibly. You're certain it was me. Maybe I was mistaken. 
Mortai shakes his head. Well, no matter, no matter. How is it that Mortai Gravesend may help you? Do you seek the contract, perhaps? The contract? Why, it is but a simple transaction from the depths of this huge robe. Oh, his huge robe, Mortai. Pulls forth a dusty parchment and a quill pen. I give you 50 comments in return. After death, the Dustman faction may claim your remains. What use will you have for them at that point anyway? Fifty coppers for my corpse? Not interested. What does it matter? Matters to me. Nothing is done with the body, and it is we, the dustmen, who have wasted all that money. More fools of us. <laughs> but rarely there are times when the workers in the mortuary need to be replaced, and then we may have a need for your body. Not interested. I know nothing about a journal. That's all I wish to know. I'm not quite intent on giving up my soul yet. Body. Well, considering I don't know enough about my condition right now. Yeah, yeah, we go. Done. How uh, time do we got left? Two minutes and 43. We've spent a lot of time in here. Easily pass all over this deep furs on his head. But exactly how much over 50, it's hard to tell as he slowly turns to look at you. You catch the dull sheen of copper in his eyes. Greetings. Old copper eye stares at you. His eyes are difficult to make out past the black well of his eye sockets, but they look to have a coppery sheen about them. Some questions. Uh, never mind. Sorry. Well, you've actually got a name, so we'll go with you. Oh, Greeting. Dustman looks up and blinks. Narachi. Initiate. Dustman. Guard. You look trouble, Narachi. Oh, that's not Narachi, it's Narach. Narach. Trouble? What's wrong? Many troubles have I. Help can you? A mausoleum awakes. The dead walk. The dead disturbed. The dust will disturb. Find out what disturbs the undead and copper coins will I pay. Very Updated well. my journal. Mausoleum by Dustman Memorial. Go north and west from Black Monument. Go to Arch in a semicircle over your heart with this finger. This pink. To the mausoleum. Go north. Right. Well, and now the last of the friendly folk, as far as I can tell. Greetings. Can I ask you some questions? Let's go, Chief. The Dusty might as well be fertilizer. What did you say? Do you want to die? No. Do you? Yes. Why do you want to live? There are certain questions I need answered about my life before I'm willing to surrender it. Do you want to die? Yes. Why don't you want to live? This is living? bears his teeth and his hands clench. This existence? This existence is a mockery of life. I do not wish to continue the charade any longer. Death is silent. Comforting. Must take my leave. Well, folks, Done. I am going to cut it off here. All right. I think I am going to finally go to bed. As always, thank you very much for watching, and tune to the next episode of Planescape Torment. Thanks for watching, folks.